Burning Potassium Attention! Potassium is flammable and all of the products from this reaction can cause chemical burns of the skin and eyes. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the replication of this experiment. Potassium is the softest of the alkali metals that can still be cut in air. Its surface immediately reacts with oxygen, moisture and carbon dioxide from the air. It reacts violently with water, which causes the forming hydrogen to ignite and an explosion is seen quite often. Here a large piece of potassium was added to a porcelain dish and lit with a Bunsen burner. A lot of very interesting things can be observed in this reaction. The metal is creeping up the walls of the dish and the liquid oxidation products tend to run over the rim. In the reaction with oxygen, the superoxide, peroxide and oxide of potassium are formed. The smoke close to the metal surface has a greenish color which indicates that the metal partially evaporates. This color can be shown quite well when some potassium is heated in a test tube. Another interesting part is the movement of the oxidation products. Especially in the end it is very strong. When the melt cools down, the yellow color of the superoxide becomes visible. The superoxide reacts with moisture from the air, causing potassium hydroxide, oxygen and hydrogen peroxide to form. Nevertheless, it also reacts with carbon dioxide and moisture to form oxygen and potassium bicarbonate. That's why the color fades after a while. These reactions can be observed very well when the experiment is repeated in a deflagrating spoon and the spoon is submerged in a beaker with water after the melt has cooled down. Here it has to be taken care that no potassium is left over, otherwise a violent reaction might take place. The brown turbid solution indicates that the iron spoon was attacked by the strongly oxidizing melt. This was burning potassium. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. For more footage of this reaction you can watch my video here. You can watch the experiment with other alkali metals or my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.